Assalamu alaikum and very good afternoon to all of you. Hi to everyone. Welcome back to our class BAA 3.12 Engineering Drawing. In this part, I will talk about the structural drawing. For the part one, I will talk about the pet footing detail. Okay, before I go direct to the pet footing detail, let me introduce you to the some structural elements you may have found in reinforced concrete buildings. You can find uh, you can find the column, stump, beam, slab, and then the foundation. There are a lot of foundations may be used in constructions. Depend on the soil type and depend on the height of the building. Today I will talk about the pet footing. As you can see here in this slide, you can see the column, which is the vertical elements, which connect, uh, which will support all the beams. And the beams is the horizontal element, which will connect from column to column. And you can see here, slab, which will be supported by the beam. As well as you can see the stump, which is the short column beneath the earth, which connecting the column to the foundation. As a structural engineer, you must know how the loads are transferred to the soil. Okay, if you have a simple structure like this one, you might have gravity load which will act vertically and impose on the slab. Then the load will be transferred on the beam which support the slab. Then the load will be further transported to the column before it being transported, I mean uh, transferred, uh, transferred to the foundation before it reached the, the soil. Okay, here is the 3D view of anatomy of the uh, pet footing foundation. You can see the outer part is the concrete and it will be steel reinforcement inside. Okay, the, here is the column, uh, start above for the column. And this one is a uh, beam reinforcement. And this is the steel reinforcement for the foundation. I did pet footing or the pile cap. Okay, you can see also the dimensions of the pet footing. And then this one is the dimension of the, for the stump. And this is the, the steel reinforcement for the pet footing. And they must provide starter bar for column. This is the construction of pet footing. As I mentioned before, the workers will provide the steel reinforcement for the pet, foot, uh, pet footing as well as the starter bar for column before they provide the formwork. Then they will concrete inside the formwork. Okay, this is the example drawing of pet footing and column details. You can see in the drawing is the uh, layout. Okay, we can we call it as the key plan. And we can see the typical pet footing detail. Okay, this is for single footing and this one is for combined footing. This one is the schedule of reinforcement for pet footing and this one is the column schedule. 
let's go detail on the key plan. Key plan will present you the, the grid line. This one we call as the, the grid line. Grid line is very important in the key plan to show you the, the coordinate. This is very important to show you the real positions of structural elements. Let's say you have element here, you have a pet footing and column here. So this position is known as E and 4. E stroke 4. Okay, this is the position of this pet footing. How about here? What is the position here? The position will be D stroke 14. So, uh, during the constructions, if you have problems, you just refer to the grid line to go and visit and then try to solve the problem as well as you can write the in the report so let's say this uh, here you have some problem so you can report to your uh, superior which is the design engineer or the resident engineer then the the information we can you, you can find in this drawing is the the type of pet footing and type of column let's say in grid E7, E7 is here. You can see the number you is very, very small written here is F2 stroke C1. F2 means the type of pet footing is this one marked by F2. And then this one will give you the column mark. Okay, the type of column. Let's say here in D1, pet footing is F1, which is here, and column is C1. How about the F4? F4, F4 is here. You can see that the dimension is very, very large, which is from here. Okay, by marked by a dash line. This is a combined footing where all columns at grid line B2, B3, B4, up to B14 will rest on one large pet footing. Okay, you also, in the same drawing, you also usually can find the detail of construction or detail of materials such as the the characteristic cube strength of the concrete okay for this example they use concrete grade 30 okay and this is the strength of the steel used and then this one, uh, a detail of the lap length of tension bar. And this is the, the concrete cover they use, they preferred. For pet footing, ground beam, the concrete cover is 50 mm. For beam, slab, column and staircase, the concrete cover is 25 mm. Okay. The concrete cover is the distance, I mean, the distance from surface of concrete to the surface of steel reinforcement. Let's say you have a beam here, the ground beams, and this is the, the steel bar. And then this is the link. So the distance between the steel bar, the surface of the concrete, the surface of the steel, is name it as concrete cover. 
Okay, this is the plan view and the cross section view of the pad footing. You can have information the position of B, the L, and then the, the depth of pad footing. As an example, is here. Here is your B. Here is your L and also your depth of the pad footing. For this give you information means pad footing type 1 will have B equal to 1500 mm, L also equal to 1500 mm, and the depth is equal to 300 mm. 50 millimeter. And this schedule also will show you the type, the nut, the, the specific reinforcement to be used inside the pad footing. Let's say so this is the X direction, this one is the Y direction. Okay, let's say this is uh, the X direction, and the another one is the Y direction and then the ties. Okay, let's say they provide here as a ties. Okay, let's say if you have a very, very deep pad footing, you must provide the ties. Okay, here you can see example for F1 in L in Y direction, the steel reinforcement to be used is. T12 200. What is the meaning of T12 200? As a site engineer or resident engineer or the design engineer, you must know T12 200 is T is the type of steel bar to be used. Okay, like this one, the type of steel bar, Y, T, and R, and it has their specific yield strength. How about 12? What is 12? 12 means the diameter of the steel bar. Okay, let's say T12 means the diameter of this steel bar is equal to 12 millimeter. And then what is 200? 200 is the spacing of the steel bar in both directions. Okay, let's say here 200 means this one and this one is 200 mm. And also, for this direction, both direction is 200 means this one to this one is also 200 mm. Okay, and also you can find this one, this uh, in unit of kilometer per millimeter square. This is the soil bearing capacity. Okay, this indicate the soil bearing capacity of the site. Okay, this is from the soil investigation report. Okay, as a homework, please Google and find the following information. I want you to search about the grade of concrete, yield strength of steel reinforcement, standard diameter of steel reinforcement in Malaysia, standard depth of thumb, soil bearing pressure. You can you must find the range value from what to what value of kilonewton per meter square. And then what is a lead concrete? And then you must know about the apron and detail. And the typical specific of steel shear reinforcement used in construction industry. Okay, so thank you very much for your attention. See you in next class. Assalamualaikum. Bye-bye.